Welcome to Lively English. In part 3 of our English learning conversation series, renting a flat, we'll highlight some common lease terms and learn how to effectively present our employment status as newcomers to give landlords more confidence in renting to us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to become part of the Lively English community. Let's go! All right, Alex. Now that you've had a chance to tour the properties, which one are you leaning towards? I'll reach out to the landlord for you. I'm still weighing my options. I'm torn between the first house we saw in Greenfield Heights and the second apartment in Riverdale. No worries. Take your time. Just give me a shout when you've made your decision. I'll pass it along to the landlord. Thanks. By the way, could you tell me more about the tenancy agreement? Sure. Please feel free to ask. I know the monthly rent for the first property is $2,500, and for the second one, it's $2,300. How do I pay the rent? Typically, you can set up a direct debit through your bank, while you could also mail a check to the landlord. To avoid any postal delays or mishaps that could lead to misunderstandings, it's better to set up a direct debit. Additionally, you'll need to pay a one-month security deposit up front. You can do this with a check or by transferring funds directly to the landlord's bank account. All right. And what about utilities and services? You'll be on the hook for utilities like water, electricity, and internet. However, the landlord will cover the cost of property management fees and land tax. Got it. What about maintenance and repairs? Who's responsible for those? It depends on the situation. For instance, tenants are usually responsible for minor repairs like changing light bulbs or mowing the lawn, while the landlord takes care of major structural repairs. What qualifies as major structural repairs? These are significant fixes like repairing a leaking roof or fixing structural damage to the building. What if an appliance breaks down? Who's responsible for fixing or replacing it? Well, it depends on what's included in the lease. For example, the first property comes with appliances like a fridge, dishwasher, oven, washing machine, and TV. If any of these appliances break down due to normal wear and tear, the landlord is responsible for repairs or replacements. That sounds reasonable. However, if it's due to the tenant's negligence, then the tenant is liable. Even if the landlord covers the repair or replacement, you'll need to notify them first and get their approval before calling in a repair technician, or else they won't foot the bill. How about the second property? It doesn't come with many appliances, just four air conditioners. I have to buy my own appliances. Right, so you'd need to take them with you when you leave. Besides those four air conditioners, 
If any of your appliances get damaged during your tenancy, you're responsible for repairs or replacements. Thanks for clarifying all that. I'll make sure to review the lease carefully. Regarding the apartment in Riverdale, there are specific noise restrictions, so no loud noises between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Plus, smoking isn't allowed inside the apartment or within the common areas of the building. Can't we smoke indoors at all? Who knows? Smoke detectors are installed in every unit for fire safety purposes. Smoking indoors could trigger the smoke detectors, setting off alarms throughout the building and directly notifying the nearby fire department. Oh, really? The costs incurred for mobilizing the fire department would be borne by the responsible party which I heard could be close to $10,000. Thanks for the heads up. My son has been itching to get a dog. Any specific rules I should be aware of? Yeah, for pet policies, you'll need to get the landlord's approval before bringing any pets onto the property. Oh, got it. How long is the lease usually? Typically, it's for a year, and then it's up for renewal. You and the landlord can decide when the lease starts, but I can negotiate a one-week rent-free period for you. Thank you. What if I want to break the lease and move out early? You know, if there's a good property for sale, I might want to buy a house. Well, if you decide to terminate the lease early, you'll need to provide a 30-day notice. Breaking the lease early may result in a penalty fee equal to one month's rent. What if the landlord decides to sell the property while we're renting? If that happens, you'll need to cooperate with the landlord's requests for property viewings with potential buyers. Thanks for explaining everything so thoroughly. I don't have any other questions. Perfect. It's crucial to understand all the terms before signing. Before you decide on which property to rent, I'd like you to fill out a form detailing your family background. I'll pass this information along to the landlord, who will then decide whether to rent the property to you. Sounds good. I'll get that form filled out right away. Lastly, most landlords are interested in understanding your family's employment situation to assess your ability to pay rent on time. Could you tell me more about your work? Well, I've only been in the city for a week. Back in my hometown, I was a manager at a chain appliance store responsible for sales. Currently, I'm still in the process of looking for work, hoping to land a job in sales. However, I do have sufficient savings to cover a year's rent. I can provide my bank statements as proof, and I'm even willing to pay six months' rent up front. So, rest assured, I can manage the rent payments. That sounds reassuring, Alex. Let's stay in touch, and I'll be here to assist you every step of the way. 
If you want Lifely English to continue to make more episodes about daily conversation in different situations, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Like and share this video with your friends. Your support helps us create valuable content. Thank you for being a part of our learning community. Lean towards. Lean towards. Leaning towards a decision means a slight preference, often after weighing options. For example, after careful consideration, I'm leaning towards accepting the job offer from Company A. Synonym. Inclined towards. After careful consideration, I'm inclined towards accepting the job offer from Company A. Weighing options. Weighing options. Weighing options means evaluating choices. For example, before making a final decision, she spent hours weighing her options to ensure she made the right choice. Synonym. Evaluating choices. Before making a final decision, she spent hours evaluating choices to ensure she made the right choice. Torn between. Torn between. Torn between means finding it very difficult to choose between two options. For example, she's torn between pursuing her passion for art and studying law to please her parents. Synonym. Divided between. She's divided between pursuing her passion for art and studying law to please her parents. Pass along. Pass along. Passing something along means sharing it. For example, could you please pass along this message to your colleague for me? Synonym. Relay. Could you please relay this message to your colleague for me? Mishaps. Mishaps. Mishaps are unexpected events resulting in problems. For example, despite their careful planning, they encountered several mishaps during their journey. Synonym. Accidents. Despite their careful planning, they encountered several accidents during their journey. On the hook. On the hook. Being on the hook implies accountability or obligation. For example, as the project manager, you're on the hook for ensuring the project's success. Synonym. Accountable for. As the project manager, you're accountable for ensuring the project's success. Wear and tear. Wear and tear. Wear and tear is damage from regular use. For example, the landlord agreed to cover the cost of repairs for any wear and tear to the property. Synonym. Damage by regular use. The landlord agreed to cover the cost of repairs for any damage to the property caused by regular use. Negligence. Negligence. Negligence is failure to exercise proper care. For example, the company was sued for negligence after a customer fell on a wet floor that hadn't been marked with a warning sign. Synonym. Carelessness. The company was sued for carelessness after a customer fell on a wet floor that hadn't been marked with a warning sign. Liable. Liable. Being liable means being legally responsible. For example, 
The manufacturer was found liable for the defective product that caused injuries to consumers. Synonym. Responsible. The manufacturer was found responsible for the defective product that caused injuries to consumers. Heads up. Heads up. Giving someone a heads up means providing them with advance information or warning about something. For example, just a heads up, there's a meeting scheduled for tomorrow morning. Synonym. Advance notice. Just an advance notice, there's a meeting scheduled for tomorrow morning. Itching to. Itching to. Feeling itching to do something means wanting to do that activity very much. For example, after weeks of studying, I'm itching to take the exam and see how I've done. Synonym. Anxious to. After weeks of studying, I'm anxious to take the exam and see how I've done. Breaking the lease. Breaking the lease. Breaking the lease involves ending the lease prematurely. For example, breaking the lease may result in financial penalties. Synonym. Terminating the contract early. Terminating the contract early may result in financial penalties. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. Doing something thoroughly means doing it completely. For example, before submitting the report, I need to thoroughly check for any errors. Synonym. Completely. Before submitting the report, I need to completely check for any errors. We're wrapping up today's episode. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons. Your support means a lot. See you in the next episode.